All right, I thought I'd do a little bit of a overview on this Blue Sky Solar Boost 50 charge controller. I bought this used for under $100. It's about a $500 charge controller, MPPT. Uh, it's designed for 24 or 12 volt uh, solar panels. And it's a pretty robust unit. It comes in a very heavy metal box. This is all rusted on top so I uh, scraped that down and repainted it. You can see on here it works with uh, up to 57 volts input up to 40 amps of PV power PV amps. It has a charge current output of up to 50 amps and that's actually current limited internally so you don't actually need a fuse but you'll probably still need to put one on the outside breaker. It works with uh, a uh, control voltage up to 32 volts uh, using either a 14 or 28 max uh, charge voltage based on the either a 12 or 24 volt battery bank. It's a CE rated and it's an FCC uh, registered product and it's built in California. Uh, this is about a five year old unit. There was a label on here. You might not be able to see it. It's a manufactured warranty date of uh, October 2006. But it's a very substantial unit. It's got a, it's all solid state so it's using MOSFETs inside for the uh, charge control switching. It has a three-stage charge <clears throat> mode, which is bulk, which is the standard uh, charging rate, and you'll just see this char charge light come on steady. Uh, it'll go up and be in the second stage, which is called acceptance, which is kind of the, the next level up, where it'll more be a pulse. And then there's the float charge on top of that. When it gets fully, fully charged, the float will come on to maintain it, basically compensating for the loss of uh, charge from internal losses, the internal resistance. And then it does have an equalize function that you have to do manually, and that's through a button up here that you just re pop out, and it uh, allows you to manually run it in the equalize mode, which is what you would do is after many cycles of using your battery pack, some of the cells within the batteries will start to be a little bit out of sync with each other. And uh, by using this equalize function, it, it brings them all back to a standard level. And you have to just read the manual to know how often to do that based on how you use it. So let's take a look inside. All right, to get inside, just remove four of these screws here. So there's one circuit board, and it's pretty substantial. The uh, since we're talking about 50 amps to the battery, it's got some very big uh, terminals for attaching the battery and then you basically run all the wires out through uh, the bottom cutouts or side cutouts. You can come out these sides. They're standard utility kind of a box structure. Uh, your PV contacts are right here. And then there's <coughs> you set the you set the uh, configuration of how, what, what kind of panels, what kind of output voltage uh, configuration you want through this dip switch setting here. They're just slide settings. So you, they show you in the book there how you set that up. There is a float current, charge voltage, float voltage, and MPP set points can also be adjusted by this, these uh, trim pots here. You can see on the back wall all the switching MOSFETs that are used for the charge control function. One unique thing about this charge controller too is it uses a relay to disconnect the solar panels at night. 
so when it notices it that it's nighttime, it actually disconnects the panels completely, so no current can actually flow through back through the uh, charge con from the battery back through this to the panels. So you don't actually need a diode if you're using this uh, blocking diode if you're using this charge controller. Uh, it does have temperature compensation uh, probes that you can buy. See that temp sensor probe there. And you can also use an external battery shunt for uh, current sensing. It does have an internal one, but if you uh, want to use an external one, you can do that too. A lot of people use a trimetric on the outside of this. <clears throat> they also have a version of this Solar Boost that has a panel, a digital display panel on the front. Uh, you can buy that as an after, after add-on feature too. It plugs right into this uh, modular connector here. Well, anyway, very substantial. Um, circuit board is not cheap looking, looks very well built. If you go online and on YouTube and you there's a presentation that they gave on their latest charge controller from Blue Sky and uh, it's actually a nice unit, the newest one that they have on the market in the last year. But if, you're, if your needs are mainly just for solar, this one looks like it'll do a pretty good job. I'm putting some more panels up and adding some more batteries and so uh, looking forward to getting this working. Talk to you later.